were trying to kill my underhook, right? When I start popping and reaching by, if he doesn't grab my head, or if he turns to his knees, I'm gonna follow him. Does that make sense? So my reaction to him is gonna be the same whether he grabs my head or not. So in this case, he's not gonna grab my head. As I pop and I reach, I'm still coming out the back here. And if he doesn't wizard, he's gonna, I'm gonna take his back, right? If he does grab my head and I pop and I reach, we're in this position. Does that make sense? So those are the two different situations that we're trying to drill here. If he forgets to grab my head, then I'm gonna come up. All right, if he does grab my head and he keeps, more importantly, keeps my bottom elbow controlled so that I couldn't turn to my knees, then I'm gonna have to work on my skates here, right? So the bridge and roll, I don't know if you guys felt it, is almost always predicated on his hips pointing to the sky, right? So when I get underneath him here, and I get underneath and I bridge, here, notice his hips didn't turn over. If his hips are still pointed at the sky, it's pretty easy for me to take him over. Right? If I throw and his hips turn over, now I try to twist him, I'm gonna hurt myself. Does that make sense? Let's take over. So when I bridge, if he if his hips turn, I'm not gonna be able to take him over my head. But what does that allow me to do if his hips turn? Correct. It means he takes this pressure, what's holding me down, he takes that off of me. So when I bridge, if his hips turn, I'm gonna fall. And I'm gonna come up to my knees. Sometimes they'll keep holding on to your head. Sometimes they'll switch back to a wizard and you end up in dog fight. Right? But if I bridge so hard that I get his weight off of me, I'm gonna follow him, just like I did before he grabbed my head. Right? What I'm doing between here. Right? When he's not grabbing my head, and at the end, when his knees touch the ground, he comes over and he's here, goes from here, boom. My reaction is the same. I'm following out the back. We're not good at naming things. That's what he gets out of the time. Does that make sense? So, in both situations, I want the person on the bottom trying to follow. Okay, and get out. Person on top, hook that head to prevent it, right? Head and elbow, keep them laying on their back. Then you try and do the bridge and roll. Person on the top, switch your hips. It's the right thing to do to stop the bridge and roll. Okay? I just have to have a way to address what they're gonna do next, right? We're not gonna go that far today. It's already been shoved too much stuff in here. So I just want you guys to have this last piece. We're, we're addressing a lot of different situations, starting from a good side control, person on the top is slowly losing the position, right? And every time they do something to stop it, right, to maintain it, then the person on the bottom has an answer. Right, that's what I'm trying to get into you guys. And I don't expect you to, to remember it all. It's a lot of different stuff. But the next time we teach it that way, it's like, oh yeah, I've seen this before. I don't want to do it. But at least I've seen it before, right? Cool? All right, with your partner one more time. One, two, three.